Hello everyone. I hope everyone's okay. It's seriously still crazy times, isn't it? Around the world. But I thought I'd share our setup and yeah, how we're living in lockdown in New Zealand right now. So where are we based? This is actually on private land. It's through a friend that Hayden has and it was really just supposed to be a container and sometimes Hayden's bus uh, but then he ended up dating you know someone with a couple of caravans so we've kind of ended up having two caravans here and another person <laughs> and then we should have already moved on this was really just for summer and it was winding to the end Hayden was just getting ready to move when this lockdown happened so the owner has been very nice and let us kind of stay for this lockdown as well. I am really grateful because, I don't know, it's just, I love this spot. It just feels so peaceful and isolated, which is exactly what you need right now, isn't it? So when I came back, this area was actually all overgrown and Hayden's made it a lot more livable. My caravan was actually parked over there. So in New Zealand, we have lockdown for four weeks and then there'll be a decision at the end of whether it's extended or whether we go uh, open up a little bit more, hopefully, uh, see what happens. Lockdown for us means everyone stays at home, it's just essential workers going around and I think it's just supermarkets, pharmacies and petrol stations that are open. A little bit of essential online shopping is now allowed so Hayden just got back from the supermarket where he lined up for half an hour and what is my work situation well my graphic design work has completely died there's absolutely nothing and you know there's been talk of a recession after the lockdown so it could be an interesting year at the moment well before the lockdown most of my income was still coming through from graphic design work but at the moment it's all through Patreon and a little bit through YouTube ads so a huge thank you to all my Patreons I really really do appreciate it and yeah if you've been thinking about becoming a Patreon maybe now would be a good time I'm completely aware that a lot of people are in the same boat with me as me where their work has just suddenly dried up I hope you're okay. So what is our setup right now? Well there's my UK caravan, Hayden's bus and then we've got an outside marquee, a container and my vintage caravan. So actually quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> At the moment it really does feel like there's three separate rooms. Let me show you. So my UK caravan has become the dining room my work office and then if I'm cooking I will use this kitchen just because it's I'm used to this and then Hayden's bus is our bedroom and his work office there's been a, quite a few changes with Hayden's bus so I'm thinking next week's video I might actually yeah talk about my first impressions of the bus and what's been going on and every time I come out of Hayden's bus I can see that my caravan is completely covered in leaves and berries from the trees around here so I really do need to give that caravan a good clean and then Hayden put up this marquee when it looked like some rainy weather was heading our way and it's kind of become his workshop slash outside kitchen and then there's kind of uh, laundry in the container just there and what do you think of uh, Hayden's temporary kitchen <laughs> there's working working taps <laughs> and Hayden really I don't know has a knack for plumbing so yeah it all works <laughs> these are actually plastic bowls that he's modified You're looking happy, right? I'm looking happy. <laughs> I'm looking happy. <laughs> and I thought I'd just mention that 
we haven't killed each other yet. We're still still enjoying each other's company in this uh, crazy lockdown. I have got a plan though, so don't worry. Oh. <laughs> it's it's working out, eh? I think we've both got the right personalities that we can kind of do our own thing, and we don't need entertainment twenty four seven. Yeah, we do our own thing. Oh, that's right, video. <laughs> yeah, until I tell you. <laughs> Hayden, we just need to do a little clip for this video. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so the washing machine actually looks like it's on a weird angle, but it's actually this whole container is on a lean and the washing machine's just been propped up to make it level. <laughs> and this is our current shower. Fantastic pressure and you do get a bit of privacy now, which is always nice. Unfortunately, because it's quite, you know, it's autumn and it's raining a lot and everything's just staying damp, we have got a little bit of mold starting to grow in there. And because we can't access the hardware store, we can't really do anything about it until this lockdown has finished. But I'll show you what the shower looked like right from the start. Ah. <laughs> So how are you feeling about your creation right now? <laughs> Is that what you're gonna say? Is that what you're gonna say? <laughs> and then what is our water setup and how does the shower work? Well, we've got a Kelly font with a gas bottle there for the hot water. And then Hayden's very complicated looking hose setup. So there is a water tank way on the other side of the field that slowly feeds the water into these tanks and then Hayden's got a small water pump to move the water over from that tank and then a larger water pump for the shower and getting water to the marquee kitchen. So that's the simple version of a water setup. Luckily, I feel quite lucky that I've got quite a few projects to kind of keep me occupied during this lockdown. Plenty of stuff on my laptop, but also the vintage caravan. Now, I'm kind of slowly chipping away at it. I'm just aware that I can't go to a hardware store, so there's only so much I can do. Right now, I'm focusing on strengthening the interior and then sealing the outside as well. So I have done a little bit of work on the wood inside and a big thank you to Robert and John for purchasing some sealant for me. I am going to need so many of these by the end of this project. Just to remind you all, this is very much an amateur giving this a go. I, yes, hopefully it's fine. <laughs> I've also learned how to add a rivet. I had never used a rivet gun before. And I've started focusing on the edges where I know water is getting in. I've taken off the two back seams, but 
I need to be able to go to the hardware store to get the right type of rivet to finish this job. A lot of those nails were rusted through. The edging just popped off really easily. And if there had been any sealant there, it's dusted long ago. So I think this is where all the leaks have been coming in in the corners. And you can see right inside. So there's three rivets here. I'll take those off too. Same thing, there's just some rivets just on this corner. And you won't be surprised to learn that I need quite a lot of items to finish this project. So if you're curious to see what this caravan wish list is, here is the link. So this is our setup. What do you think? I do feel grateful that I've been able to stay here because yeah I have heard some stories of people permanently living in the RV who have had problems with these lockdowns and re travel restrictions. Yeah I just hope everyone is staying safe and I hope the later in the year it starts to grow back to normal a bit. Stay safe everyone. <laughs>